Okay, so I'm recording now, yeah? Recording now. Okay, so uh, for this chapter 7, it's about optics, okay? Optics, uh, you will learn about mirror or lens. Uh, reflection, re refraction, yeah? Uh, pantolan atau pembiasan, yeah? Uh, so, for this one, I will, um, you know, uh, optics, I will talk about, I will, I will use this, uh, uh, BM KPM notes and also uh, this is my own notes lah, uh, which I uh, simplify into a drawing. This these notes you can find in uh, under the pack explain physics, yeah. Uh, under my uh, also in the Telegram board you can find these notes yeah under pack explain physics. Okay, this is what I do a summary so that make it easier for uh, students to understand uh, the the whole picture. Okay, good. So let us continue. So optics. Okay. Uh, physical optics is the study of light as a wave phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, some phenomenon like interference and diffraction can only be explained by treating the light as wave. Uh, this about the interference and diffraction. It's a later part of the chapter lah. Yeah. So first part of chapter we learn about reflection and refraction first. Yeah. Reflection, refraction, interference, diffraction, all these are properties of light as wave. Yeah? Galombang. Light as wave. If particles, there's there's no uh this kind of in, uh, characteristics. Yeah. Reflection. Yeah, particles cannot. Uh, only wave can undergo reflection, refraction, interference, and diffraction. Okay, so all right, this is the thing we will learn in this chapter. So the first part of our chapter now is a, we will learn about reflection. Yeah, today we're going to learn reflection first. Yeah, uh, so you need to know what is radius of curvature for spherical mirror. Yeah, mirror reflection at mirror. Uh, later on we have another one. Lens, thin lens. The one is a uh, refraction. Yeah, reflection is pantolan. It's for mirror. Yeah. Uh, so then we will learn how to sketch a ray diagrams. Uh, and then we will use this equation, mirror equation, uh, to solve some problems. And we must know all the positive and negative sign for all the f and r, u and u and v. Yeah, object distance, image distance. Magnification, we will uh, calculate the magnification also. Okay, later on is refraction, thin lens, uh, determine the focal length, everything. Yeah, good. Uh, so now let us look at uh, first look at reflection at spherical surface. Yeah, so reflection happen at mirror, lah. happen at mirror. Yeah, uh, so you can see this board. Yeah. Even the sphere, uh, even at the back of your spoon, all these are reflection, pantolan, yeah, uh, like a mirror. Yeah? So spherical mirror is a reflecting surface uh, that is part of a sphere. Uh, you must um, uh, realize that this uh, the mirror that we use, uh, yeah, normally the mirror that you use is called plain mirror. Yeah, uh, at your own room, right? That is called uh, plane mirror. Spherical mirror is different. Spherical mirror is a reflecting surface which is part of a sphere, uh, which is curved. The mirror that you use at your room is uh, flat, yeah, flat surface. Uh, but this spherical mirror is different. Spherical mirror is curved, yeah, because why is curved? Because it's part of a sphere. Uh, like you can see this one, you see, we have two kinds of mirror here. Uh, we Here we have concave mirror. Concave mirror, so it is part of a sphere. Uh, because it is part of a sphere, that's why it has a center of curvature. Uh, center of sphere where the curved mirror forms a part. Uh, center curvature. And we have another one called convex mirror. Convex mirror also part of a sphere. The center curvature is behind. Uh, this concave mirror, the center curvature is in front. We can see the difference. Concave mirror, convex mirror. Uh, see that? Concave mirror, convex mirror. Uh, so, okay. 
And then we have center curvature because it's sort a sphere, so it has a center uh, for this whole sphere. And then we also have radius because uh, radius means the distance from center curvature to the pole. Uh, this point is called a pole, center of the mirror. It's called a pole. Okay? Uh, so distance between center curvature to the pole is radius. And then uh, this one radius is over here. Lah. Behind, yeah? This radius is in front of the mirror. Uh, this one radius is behind the mirror. Yeah, behind the mirror. Pole is a center of mirror. Principal axis means the straight line. Uh, this straight line is called principal axis. This principal axis join the center curvature and the pole. Okay, joining C and P, uh, the straight line joining, a uh, principal axis. Okay. Now, so here, what, what mirror is this? Again, what mirror is this? Concave mirror. What mirror is this? Convex mirror. Uh, convex mirror, this concave mirror. So what's the difference between concave mirror and convex mirror? Uh, concave mirror can focus the light. You can see the light comes, it focuses into focal point. But convex mirror, convex mirror, it diverge the light, uh, diverge away from the focal point. That, that's the difference. Uh, this is con concave mirror, concave. Uh, concave mirror. So uh, the, uh, after reflection, the light converge to the focal point, converge. This one, the light diverge. You can see the word diverge from the focal point. Uh, okay. So focal point is what is focal point? Focal point is a point midway between center curvature and the pole. Uh, so focal point is here, center curvature. What is center curvature again? Uh, center curvature is actually center of the whole sphere where the mirror forms a part. Isn't it? Uh, center. So where is focal point? Where do the light focus? It focus at the focal point here. Focal point is at the middle, midway, at the middle. Ah, okay. Ah, so focal point is exactly at the middle. Middle between center curvature and the pole. Pole is center of mirror lah. Center of mirror P. Yeah. This is the pole. Understand? So where is the focal point? At the center, directly at the uh, at the um, midway between C and P. Uh, so all the light focus there. Understand? That's called focal point. Midway. So what is focal length? Focal length is distance lah. Distance from the pole, from the pole to the focus point. Uh, to the focal point. Yeah. Distance between the pole and the focal point. Uh, okay. This focal point is also called principal focus lah. Principal focus. Yeah. So distance. Uh, from pole to the focal point is called focal length. From pole to the center curvature is called radius of curvature. Understand? So you can see, uh, radius of curvature is two times focal focal length, lah. Uh, two times focal length. Agree or not, class? Let's see your response. Yeah. Do you agree that? Do you agree radius of curvature is uh two times the focal length? Yeah. Okay. Agree. Yeah. Uh? Yeah. Because. Uh, see this one convex mirror convex mirror this is focal point at the middle between center curvature and the pole so this is the focal length and uh, radius radius of curvature is from pole to the center curvature so this uh, radius is two times the focal length correct lah eh? because focal point is at the middle uh, so the radius is two times the focal length okay eh? good so i continue if you understand, yeah, very simple thing. Uh, this is the ray diagram. Lah. How do you uh, sketch the, you know, sketch the, find the image. Uh, you have given object, given object and the mirror. Uh, like this one is a concave mirror. And we also have a convex mirror. You see, we have a concave mirror. We have a convex mirror. Uh, so this one uh, teach you how to draw, lah, how to draw the image. If you are given the object and the type of mirror so maybe you are given concave mirror maybe you are given convex mirror do you know how to sketch the image uh, so to sketch the image you must first draw the ray diagram uh, okay and different if concave mirror and convex mirror the way to draw the ray is different 
uh, because we already learned just now we already learned just now uh, for concave mirror it converts the light it focuses the light yeah reflection it reflected to the focal point but for the convex mirror it diverge it diverge from the point diverge from the focal point this one focus to the focal point this one diverge from the focal point that's the difference see diverge it can diverge a light because the light reflected away see this one reflect, light is reflected away from focal point this one light is reflected towards the focal point converge to the focal point diverge from the focal point uh, so the way to draw the ray diagram also different lah. Uh, convex and eh, no, concave and convex mirror different uh, as you can see this one light converge to the focal point can you see the red light and eh, no yeah the red the red line the red line the light uh, converge to the focal point convex mirror the light diverge away from the focal point ah see that so uh okay actually the summary yeah uh, i Actually, in my own notes, I got a summary for this. Actually, I got a summary uh, between ray diagrams to draw for mirror reflection and also ray diagram for thin lens, which we will learn in the later chapter. Thin lens for reflection. So, actually, the rule is so simple only. Ray 1, ray 2, ray 3. Uh, three you just remember these three simple rules only. Uh, it's the same actually for for both reflection and refraction. The rule, the three rules is simple. Uh, so maybe you can just look at this one first. How to draw the ray diagram? Okay. Uh, ray one. How to draw the ray diagram? Ray one is uh, the light which is parallel. P stands for parallel. Uh, see, uh, like okay. Let's say uh, you are given a concave mirror. A concave mirror. Okay. What time? Okay. Good. Uh, recording. Make sure I'm recording. Huh? Uh, make sure I'm recording. Yeah. Okay. So ray one. So how to draw the how to get the image? Let's say you are given a concave mirror. Concave mirror. How to get the image? Uh, I want to get the image. You are given object here. How to draw the image? Uh, so, um, so the first ray is the red line one. Uh, the red line. So. Uh, the first ray is parallel. See, P stands for parallel. Parallel, and then you will... Because this is a concave mirror. Concave mirror, it converts the light, isn't it? It, uh, what they say? Where is it? Uh, concave mirror converts the light. Converts the light. Uh, if convex mirror diverge, it diverges the light. Uh, so that's the difference. So you can see a uh, ray 1. Uh, parallel light, it converts to the focal point. Converts to the focal point. Uh, if if a convex mirror, the parallel light is diverged, diverged from the focal point. Uh, okay, so P to F. So P to F means it's either converged to focal point or diverged from the focal point. If it is a concave mirror, it converts to the focal point. If it is a convex mirror, Convex mirror, it diverges from the focal point. Uh, can you see the difference, class? Huh? If concave mirror, the first ray convert parallel light. Parallel light converge to focal point. If a uh, uh, convex mirror, convex mirror, parallel light diverges from the focal point. Uh, converge to focal point or diverge from the focal point. Understand, class? Understand? Understand this one? Okay, uh, I continue. Uh. Good, good. Very good. Uh, so, later tutorial question, uh, we will together, yeah, we together, we will uh, do, try to draw this ray diagram, yeah? Try to draw this ray diagram. We have an uh, exercise there. Okay. Now, ray 2. Let's look at ray 2. Uh, the difference between uh, concave and convex. Yeah? Uh, let, uh, let us look at ray 2. Just now, it's parallel going to the focal point, uh, converge to focal point or diverge from focal point. Uh, if ray 2 is the ray that passes through the focal point, become back parallel. Uh, the ray that passes through focal point, back to parallel. Uh, P to F, F to P. Very simple, right? The uh, so what it means by ray 2? Okay, look at this. Actually, this, this uh, ray diagram, uh, 
uh, dipecahkan kepada tiga. Understand? Separated into three three ray. Uh, like this grid, this one also separated into three three ray. Understand? Separated into three. Uh, so you want to look at the first diagram means this first three lah. And then if you want to look at the convex mirror, it's the second row here. Understand? Uh, now look at ray two. Ray two means this uh, this two lah. Yeah, the middle one, these two. Okay, look at ray two. Uh, the light that passes through focal point will back to parallel. Uh, just now it's parallel go, going to focal point. Now it's from focal point go back, go back to parallel light. Uh, so which is the green green ray here. Uh, so just look at this one. See, concave mirror. The light that go to the focal point first. You see that? The light going through the focal point first. What happened? Going through the focal point, what happened? Going back parallel. Yes. The light that going through the focal point will be reflected parallelly. Ah, that's how you draw. Understand? If the uh, convex mirror, convex mirror, also the same. The light going towards the focal point. Uh, it actually going towards the focal point, but didn't reach lah. Uh, yeah. For going to the focal point, it diverged back parallelly or reflected back parallelly uh, see the difference actually it's the same lah uh, for both concave and convex mirror both light also going towards the focal point first you see pass through the focal point or directed towards the focal point reflected parallelly reflected parallelly uh, that's it class that's it uh, okay so that's the second ray. Now look at the third ray. Third ray means what? C to C. What is C again? Uh, what is C again, class? C is the what is a C? Uh, C is the center curvature. Center curvature of the mirror. Center curvature of the mirror. Uh, where, uh, because the mirror is part of a sphere, isn't it? So center curvature is referred to C refer to the this point. Uh, C refer to this point. So how to draw this third ray? Uh, that means the light that passes through the center curvature will go back center curvature. Uh, go back the same path. Yeah, the light go back the same path. Uh, you see the, the blue light? The blue light. The light that passes through the center curvature reflected back towards the center curvature. Ah, uh, back to the same path. Look at this one. Uh, the light passes through the center curvature because if you pass us through the center curvature, is this light actually is 90 degree, 90 degree to the to the mirror. Do you agree it is 90 degree? For other light, it's not 90 degree. Macam the second ray and first ray, they are not 90 degree. That's why it reflected somewhere else. But if the light is 90 degree to the surface, 90 degree surface, it reflected back the same path. Why is it 90 degree? Ah, because this is uh, the, ray, the, the path of radius of curvature. This is radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is 90 degree to the circle. Isn't it, class? Look at this one. Yeah? Uh, like, like we see, center curvature to the point pole here. It's 90 degree. You see that? Uh, 90 degree. Yeah? So, radius is always 90 degree to the... Radius is always 90 degree to the mirror. Uh, that's it. Uh, so if any ray passes through the center curvature going to the mirror, it's always reflected 90 degree back to the center curvature. Uh, that's concave mirror. If convex mirror, also the same. The light going towards the center curvature, but because this, uh, this is a mirror, the light cannot pass through. The light cannot pass through. So the light going towards center curvature, Reflected back the same path. Uh, reflected back the same path. See that? Uh, so it's the same. C to C. Going past through the center curvature, back to the same path. If the convex mirror is going towards center curvature, back at the same path also. Reflected back at the same path. Because it's 90 degree. Okay. So remember the three ray? Or you want the longer explanation is over here. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, the ray one is the one which is parallel will be reflected through the focal point. Uh, the second ray is the one through the focal point reflected back parallel. Uh, 
Yeah, F, this one is uh, P to F, this one is F to P. And third ray is through the center curvature reflected back from the original path, uh, C to C. Uh, so I, I make it simple, P to F, F to P, C to C. Understand class? Understand? Understand, huh? Good. All right, let's continue. Yeah, let's continue. So that's uh, actually the thin lens, also actually the same. Thin lens are later, this one we will learn later. Uh, oh, actually the way to draw the ray diagram also the same. Uh, this one also P to F, F to P, and this one O to O. It's like C to C also. O is actually center of the lens. Uh, but the difference between mirror and lens, mirror is reflection, pantolan, pantolan. In lens is refraction, pembiasan. Apa beza pantolan dengan pembiasan? Pantolan, cahaya tak boleh lalu mirror. Dia akan reflected, dipantolkan. Kalau pembiasan, the light can pass through. Ah, uh, dia cahaya itu menyeberang, dia menyeberang, dia tembus. Ah, uh, cahaya itu tembus ke the other side. Kalau kalau reflection, pantolan, it remain at the same side, at the front of the mirror. The light remain at the front of the mirror. Ah, uh, if reflection, the light go to the behind the lens, go behind the lens already. Sebab cahaya ini boleh tembus. Ini cahaya tak boleh tembus. Itu saja kelas. Mirror and lens. Mirror, the light remain at the front. It cannot go, cannot uh, pass through the mirror, go to the other side, go to behind the mirror, cannot. But for lens, the light can can pass through the lens, can go to the other side. Uh, dia dibiaskan ke uh, the other side, the behind the lens already. Uh, that's the difference. But the principle is the same, you see, like this one, lens, the light is parallel. Is focus to the focal point. It's the same, but it focus at the focal point at the other side, not at the same side here. Uh, focus at the other side. For for reflection, it focus at the same side of the mirror. Ah, see, you understand, class? You see the difference, class? You see the difference? Ah, uh, good lah. Huh? Uh, but lens, I don't want to uh, talk so much first. This one we reserve to future. Yeah, this one you can. Pacha balik, yeah, it's the same thing lah, almost like like the mirror lah. If you know mirror, you know lens lah. But the, you must know the difference lah. This is reflection, pantolan. This is pembiasan, reflection. Light cannot pass through. Light is reflected. This one, light can pass through. Go to the other side. Okay. So that is how we draw the draw the ray diagram. After we got all the ray diagram, uh, actually we only need the two out of three. Here you have three rays, one, two, three, one, two, three. But we only want two out of three. Uh, maybe you choose one or one, you draw only one and two, or you draw only one and three, or you only draw two and three. Uh, we only do two out of three, like the Kirchhoff law, gun. Kirchhoff law, you have three loops. You just do two loops enough. Uh, okay, you can select, you can choose. Uh, why we only draw two ray enough? Uh, because you only want to find the intersection point. The intersection point is the position of the image. Uh, the intersection point is the position of the image. Like you see, you only draw, let's say, raw ray 1 and ray 2. Uh, so these two ray intersect at where? Uh, they intersect at this point. Uh, so we can draw the image ready. So we don't need to draw the third ray. No need to draw the third ray. We only draw two ray. It's enough for us to find the image already. Uh, like like uh, convex mirror also the same. We only draw let's say one and three. Uh, one and three also enough. One and then you can see the light come from here. Uh, and then three, uh, the light go towards center curvature and then go back the same path. So the light come from here. So we got the intersection point already. Uh, that is the position of the image. Uh, understand? Uh, so we only draw two out of three ray. And then one more thing, class. Do you see the do you see uh, uh the arrow here is going going to the top this one arrow go below ah uh, this one is uh, means upright this is mean upright this object is upright this image is inverted uh inverted means uh 
if you look at the image uh, is terbalik the terbalik uh, so you must draw the arrow terbalik also you cannot draw something like you cannot draw something like you know you cannot draw like like uh, how to say uh, you cannot the, the, the image below is like this you cannot draw it you cannot draw it like this ah uh, wrong yeah tak ada ah uh, kalau kalau you want the uh, uh, upright is over here uh, upright is over here uh, object upright yeah image inverted ah uh, kalau image upright image upright there di sini ah uh, image upright yeah ah uh, yeah In, ini betul ini betul ah uh, ini ini salah mana ada ya yeah, yeah? Kalau you the the intersection point yeah, if you got the intersection point between the two ray below means the the image is inverted image. Uh, if you get the intersection point here, uh, this is an upright image. Understand? Kalau intersect at the top is upright image, intersect below is inverted image. You must draw the arrow to balik also. Uh, and also uh, if you look at uh the the diagram ah you can see here is dotted line ya macam ini this ini penuh kan ini ah uh, dia macam kabur-kabur kan ah uh, this is virtual image this one is real image ah uh, so if you draw ah like actually be if behind ah behind ah actually you should get a ah uh, like this this one is ah uh, virtual image ah uh, virtual image if yang garis putus-putus virtual image if garis penuh that's called real image what is the difference between real image and virtual image later the notes i will show you lah don't don't worry so much first okay uh, so that is the way so um so you know how to draw ray diagram first yeah at least you know how to draw the ray diagram okay that's how you draw See, so use broken line for any image or rays behind the mirror. Yeah, if um the ray behind the mirror is all broken line, image also broken line. Ah, uh, because it's virtual. Virtual means no light, no light. If no light means uh, all bro uh, broken line. If in front of the mirror is real image, real image, you must use a full line, full line. Okay. Uh, intersection point is the position of the image. Ah, uh, this one is virtual image, virtual upright diminish. This one is real inverted diminish. Diminish means what? Diminish means become smaller. Ah, uh, diminish becomes smaller. Ah, uh, ah, uh, concave mirror it form real image in front of the mirror. Ah, uh, it convex mirror it form virtual image behind the mirror. Ah, uh, behind the mirror it form virtual image. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, later we will learn how to draw all the. Okay, see. Ah, uh, now let's go one by one. Okay, go one by one. So now look at our uh, different types of image formed by concave mirror. Ah, uh, concave mirror means the this this mirror first, yeah. Convex mirror later, yeah. So let us look at concave mirror. What are the different types of image formed by concave mirror? So look at this one. Ah, uh, so this position. Actually, okay. Ah, uh, saya make it simple. Actually, I have make a summary of all the image form. Ah, I see that. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice or not? Uh, I draw. This is the this is the one method used for the whole chapter. Ah, uh, no need to memorize so many. I have a special formula to know all the positive negative sign. I just refer to these notes. Okay, but before that. Uh, let us look at. Uh, I want to discuss about characteristic of image formed by concave mirror, and also later is the convex mirror. Okay, convex mirror like this, concave mirror like this. So, but first look at one by one. Okay, maybe I should make it like this. Yeah, uh, converging, uh, diverging. Yeah, converge. What is mean by converging? Converging means it converges the light lah. Ah, uh, kan. Jam like you look at this one. Ah, uh, look at look at ah uh, this one. Ah, uh, which like which mirror is converging? Which mirror is converging? Mirror. Ah, uh, concave mirror. Concave mirror is converging mirror because it converges the light. Okay. Ah, uh, so concave mirror is also called converging mirror. Yeah, concave mirror is also called converging mirror. 
Uh, this convex mirror, convex mirror is also called a diverging mirror. Diverging mirror because, because it diverges a light. Uh, so they have another name, uh, concave mirror is called, called converging mirror. Uh, convex mirror is also called diverging mirror. Diverging mirror. So got they have got another name. Converging mirror, diverging mirror. Concave mirror, convex mirror. Understand? Uh, so that's why I put converging. See, difference between uh, mirror and lens, uh, mirror and lens, if uh, this one, you see, uh, this is concave mirror, it converts the light. Con uh, it converts the light. It's called concave mirror. But if lens, uh, it becomes convex lens. Ah, convex lens. Dia terbalik. Concave dengan convex. Ini lens lah. Masuk pembiasan tu. Ah. So, kalau uh, mirror, concave mirror, converge the light. Con uh, lens is convex lens. Bukan concave lens. It's convex lens yang converge the light. Converging. Ah, uh, So, this is converging mirror. This is converging lens. Uh, but different. Got concave mirror here. Here is convex mirror. A convex lens. Uh, both of them are converging because both of them converge the light. But this one, convex mirror, it diverges the light. So it's called diverging mirror. Convex mirror is diverging mirror. But if you go to lens, it's called concave lens yang diverging pula. Bukannya convex lens. Convex lens is converging converging lens. Uh, concave lens is diverging lens. It diverges the light. Uh, you don't believe me, you go to the notes later, check uh, lens. Actually, saya sudah ajar macam dua kali, uh, dua sekaligus. Ya, saya ajar supaya dia nampak perkaitan dia. Uh, I like to like, uh, uh, you know, uh, you see? Convex lens is, con convex lens is converging. Uh, this is concave lens. You see that? Uh, see that, class? How to draw the ray diagram? Where is it? Oh, where is it? Where is the ray diagram uh, class? Ray diagram like ray diagram. Uh. Oh, ray diagram. Uh. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh he didn't draw. Okay. Ah, uh, never mind. Maybe in notes here. Let's do. Uh. Just look at notes class it's here. Yeah, get this note here. See lens about the lens. The lens. Also, don't have. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, never mind lah. Yeah. Ah, uh, so um. Ah, uh, yeah, eh? Mirror. Uh, never mind, yeah? I just want to tell you that uh, convex lens is converging, yeah? But for uh, mirror, it's concave, concave mirror. The lens is convex lens, converging. For uh, mirror, uh, for, for, for uh, diverging, diverging means diverge a light. Uh, so convex mirror is diverging. Uh, concave lens is diverging also. Averaging, yeah, that's that's the difference. Okay, so about the characteristics, yeah. Just now I want to talk about the characteristics of uh, uh today. I think I just uh explain about ray diagram and characteristic of image. I think that's enough. Yeah, today we're not going to solve any questions. <laughs> yeah, today is just introduction. Yeah. So uh, so what are the different characteristics of the image form? If you look uh, at my simplified Diagram, simplified diagram. Concave mirror, concave mirror is converging. Uh, see that? Uh, I, I, you see I, the blue line here? Uh, blue line, the blue object, the blue image lah. Uh, I, I make it, actually I, you know what is this? I, um, I combine, I combine all, I combine all diagram into one. I combine all these four, four diagram into into one uh, into one uh, that's my purpose okay i combine everything into one uh, so this blue object is this blue image yeah this blue object form the blue image this green object form the green image 
this red object from the red image. Uh, that means if the object is at this position, it form image here. If the object is at this position, it form image here. If the object is over here, it form image here. If the orange object here, it form image at the infinity. Uh, if object brown object here, it form image behind the mirror. The image here. Ah, I combine already. Understand, class? See that I combine all. You can see glass. Ah, uh, you can see this one. This is the mirror. This is the focal point. This center curvature. Okay. Ah, uh, so if object is more than radius of curvature, more than radius of curvature, that means if the object is behind the center curvature, it form image very small image. Ah, uh, it form very small image. It form real inverted diminish. Uh, you can see it form real, uh, real. Why is it real? Because it's in front of the in front of the mirror. It form real image. Uh, okay. But and this image is also inverted, inverted. Yeah, terbalik, inverted. And it is diminished because it's smaller that compared to object. You see that this has become smaller than object. Uh, real inverted diminish. Okay. But when the object going nearer. Going nearer, if the object distance now is equal to the radius of curvature, yeah, equal to radius of curvature, uh, then the image now become bigger already. Just now it's smaller, right? Now it become bigger. Uh, but it's still real inverted. Real inverted. Uh, real inverted. Yeah, but now it's become same size because the image now become bigger. Uh, same size. Okay. Now if object move a bit nearer to the mirror some more, Nearer to the mirror, now the object is between F and C. Just now it's more than C. Uh, later it becomes equal to radius curvature. That means the object is at the C center curvature. Uh, and now the object now is between C and F. That means now it's smaller than radius curvature, more than the focal length. Uh, radius curvature means from mirror to the center curvature. Lah. That's the radius. Lah. Focal length means from mirror to the Focal point. Uh, that's the focal point. Focal length. Focal length. From mirror to the center curvature is radius. So if object distance between radius and focal length means object is between focal point and between between focal point and center curvature lah. Uh, this is the object distance from here to here. Object distance. Okay. So now if object is between F and C. Uh, now of image become even bigger image image become even bigger than just now so it become uh it's still real inverted and magnified uh, now image become magnified okay remember how to draw the ray diagram p and f and then f and p uh p and f f and p now you intersect here you get an image here Ah, uh, this is real inverted magnified. Understand? Uh, this one just now is what? P and F, C and C. Uh, P and F, C and C. I intersect here. Two line enough. You no need to draw the F and P. You, if you draw the F and P also the same, you get, you get, you intersect the same point also. So no point now. You just do two line enough. No need to draw three line. Understand? Uh, so if you know how to draw the ray diagram, uh, if you know how to draw the ray diagram, you can get all the characteristic of the image form and you can determine yourself where is the image. Then, uh, so uh, be, if the object is between F and C, you form real inverted magnified. Now, if uh, object is less than F, color object less than F, where is it? Uh, so you draw P and F, yeah, P and F, and then C and uh, going through the C and C. Uh, so these two lines, they cannot, if the, the, this one is different. These two lines cannot intersect at the front of the mirror. It cannot intersect at the front of the mirror. But it, this line only can be intersect at behind the mirror. So you must make it longer, use dotted line. Uh, and then intersect at this point. Uh, so intersection at this point is the image. 
So if image is behind the mirror, it's virtual image. Virtual image, you need to draw uh, dotted. Uh, and it's upright. Virtual is upright. And it's magnified. Uh, virtual upright, magnified. See that, class? Uh, so maybe you can uh, go, go to this one. Yeah. Uh, I already simplify everything. So if object very far away, after the C, you get what? RID. What is mean by RID? What is mean by RID? Real inverted diminish. Uh, I put acronyms class. Acronym. See? Read, read, rim. Read, read, rim. And then boom. Uh, read, read, rim. Boom. Uh, what is mean by RID? Real inverted diminish. What is mean by RIS? Real inverted, same size. What is mean by real rim? Real inverted, magnified. What is mean by boom? Virtual upright, magnified. Ah, understand, class? See the object one? Object one, it form RID. Read, read, rim, boom. Very easy to remember. Read, read. Actually got one more, infinity. Uh, read, read, inf read, read, rim, infinity, and then boom. So object one. So you remember the sequence class. Very simple. Read, read, rim, infinity, boom. Can you can you repeat this? Yeah. Can you read, read, rim, boom? Then we can remember all the characteristics of all image. Read, read, rim, infinity, boom. Uh, okay. So look at this one, the object one, it form read. Uh, so the image must be between F and C, yeah? Read, real inverted, diminish. Object over at, the, at C here means the, ob the object distance is same as the radius. Uh, it form read, real inverted, same size. You, can you see, class, if the object approaching the mirror, if the object approaching the mirror, what happened, class? If object approaching the mirror, the image become bigger and bigger. Finally, the biggest. Uh, finally, become virtual. So, concave mirror, it not just form the real image. It also called, can form the virtual image. Uh, it can also form real image. It can form also the virtual image. Yeah? Later, concave, convex mirror, it form only virtual image. Yeah, It cannot form real image. But uh, for concave mirror, it form both. can form real image or virtual image depending on the object distance, depending on the position of the object. Uh, so when is it the, for concave mirror, where is it form only real image? Uh, that means the object distance must be more than F lah, more than F. Kalau less than F, less than focal length, uh, it form virtual image. Uh, if more than focal length, if object at uh, object one, object two, object three, uh, it all form real image. Can you see this? Can you see class? And also, if object going nearer, but object going nearer, the image become bigger. Uh, image become bigger. See, object one form read, and uh, object two form read, object three form rim become bigger already. Uh, become bigger already as approaching. Yeah, rim. Uh, and then if object at the focal point, object at focal point. It form image at the uh, infinity. Uh, it form image at the infinity. Yeah, both can form two side, both side. Yeah, form infinity at the very far away or infinity at. It means they form image at the very far away lah. Uh, virtual image also. Later I will tell you what's the difference between real and virtual image. Yeah, later lah. And if the object now you place very 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 near to the mirror, less than the focal point. What happened? It formed virtual image. Uh, it formed virtual image here. Ah, uh, it formed virtual. Yeah, if less than focal length, form virtual image here. Boom, virtual upright magnified. Why is it uh virtual? Because it's behind the mirror. Why is it upright? Uh, because you see it intersect at the top here, so it must be upright lah. And magnified means it's bigger compared to the object. Uh, okay. So for mirror, the light reflected away. Okay, class. Now, the last one. Convex mirror. Convex mirror. 
convex mirror only form one kind of image. Just now, concave mirror form many kinds of image. But for convex mirror, no matter where is the object, tak kira letak balik jauh-jauh sekali atau sangat dekat sekali, macam mana pun, it only can form one kind of image. Ah, can you see the difference, class? Concave mirror, which is converging mirror, it can form different kinds of image. At depending on the object, it can form real image and also can form virtual image. But convex mirror, which is diverging, no matter where is the image and where is the object, it only form one kind of image, which is virtual upright diminish. Actually, that's the same goes to converging lens also, which is convex lens. Tak kira di mana convex lens, tak kira di mana, uh, so okay, kalau di mana uh, object at different position, it from different kind of, it also read, read, rim, rim, boom also. Uh, it form different kind of image. If concave lens, which is diverging, it only form one kind of image, which is virtual upright diminish. It's the same. Convex mirror and concave lens is the same. It also form only one kind of image, which is virtual upright diminish. You see that? Uh, cuma ini virtual upright diminish ini di depan. Ini virtual upright diminish di belakang. You must know the difference, class. This is a very good diagram. It simplified everything, class. <laughs> Uh, if uh, con the concave mirror, it form real image at the same side, but for convex lens, it form a uh, real image at the opposite side. Ah, sebab ini cahaya dipantulkan, ini cahaya pergi sebelah. That's the difference. Uh, if a concave mirror, it form virtual virtual image at behind. This one, con if lens, it form virtual image at the same side in front. Ah, dia terbalik di situ. Tapi dia punya karakteristik adalah same. Sama saja. Read, read, rim, boom juga. Ini pun wood. Wood. Ah, dia terbalik dari segi convex, concave. Dan juga terbalik dari segi kedudukan. Position. Ah, tapi karakteristik ciri-ciri sama. Read, read, rim, boom. Wood. Wood. Understand, class? Class? Understand? Understand, class? Ah, okay ah. Ah, boleh lah, boleh nampak. Saya nak you nak tengok corak saja, bukan nak tengok tak tahu semua, ya. Yeah? Bukan nak tahu semua, tengok corak saja. Yeah? The important thing is you see the pattern. You see, if convex mirror, you boleh cuba macam mana nak dapat wood ini. You cuba lah lukis ray diagram. Tadi you sudah belajar macam mana nak lukis ray diagram kan? How do you draw the ray diagram kan? Ah, you cuba lukis untuk yang convex mirror pula. Convex mirror, ah. Any position in front of the convex mirror, it only form wood. Wood is virtual upright diminish. Uh, kalau kalau concave mirror, concave mirror different. Dia punya virtual upright magnified. Ah, uh, dia ini magnified. Ini punya up, up virtual upright diminish punya. Ah, uh, kalau convex mirror dia punya diminish punya. Kalau concave mirror dia adalah magnified punya virtual image. Ah, uh, that's the difference. How do you get all these characteristic? You must know how to draw the ray diagram. You try to draw the ray diagram, then surely you can find all this image. Actually, I want you to make do a do an exercise. You draw this ray diagram yourself for all the different position, and I want you to determine the image characteristic yourself. Yeah, about this boom la, read la, read la, read wood. I want you to determine yourself. Yeah, draw yourself, and you can see yourself. So for convex mirror, any position in front of the convex mirror, uh, no matter where is it, yeah, no matter no matter far or near, it only form wood. It only form one kind of image, which is virtual upright diminish wood. Uh, see, P and F. See, uh, kalau convex is diverge the light, isn't it? Diverge for focal point. P and F, yeah, P and F. So, uh, and then this one is another C to C, C and C, uh, C and C. So, you see this light, it cannot, cannot intersect at the front, isn't it? It can, these two light cannot intersect at the front, so it must intersect behind. Intersect behind means uh, this, this light come from this point, uh, this light also come from this point, so intersect here. Uh, so, this is the image lah, and intersect at the top of the principal axis. This line is the principal axis. So, intersect at B, uh, uh, above the principal axis, 
Kalau intersect above the principal axis is upright image. Upright image. Uh, and this image is behind the mirror, so it's virtual image. So it's virtual upright. It's diminished. Why diminish? Because smaller than the object. Uh, diminish. That's why it calls the diminish. Kalau the image is bigger than the object, then it's magnified image. Understand, class? Ah, uh, uh, ini equation nanti lah. Sekarang dah berapa? Sembilan di tiga belas. Ah, okay. And uh, understand, class? I think you already learned all the characteristic. You just remember this simple thing. The acronyms only: read, read, rim, infinity, boom. Uh, for convex mirror is wood. Uh, ini boom. Ini wood. Different in magnify and diminish. Okay lah, itu saja. Huh? So understand class? Understand? Uh, so important, I, I need to draw yourself. I need you to uh, draw yourself all this uh, image, cari-cari image sendiri. Uh, then you sendiri sedar. Okay lah, itu saja. Terima kasih class. Kita berhenti sudah. Eh? Thank you.